Okay, so here is the car. This is the cover removed. This is the original circuit board. Went in here, sat like that, had things connected to it. This is gone now. This is my Arduino shield that I'm assembling. I have to put a few wires on it. The Arduino will go under there, sticks down a little bit. But I've got plenty of room to put it in there. Fits in there with room to spare. I'll cut a hole in the top so I can fit the sensor out the top. But this should manage all the power and everything. Um, I'm battery compartments down here. Here's the top. This thing I took off. Gives me a nice flat platform to work from. Goes around here. I can still use that part. The neat thing here is that this battery has the same capacity as the original battery, um, although it is a slightly lower voltage. But look at the amount of space left around it. If I want to, I can use the other battery, but I think 7 volts is going to be plenty for the power. Um, I was going to use two batteries for the motors because the, they're two different sizes, but it turns out that I cannot. So I'm going to use pulse width modulation to just really reduce the power for the steering motor, which is in this box right here. Um, once I get that going, it'll turn the it'll take these little rods in the back there and turn that. I've already tested it with the battery to see that they turn. I have to get a reset on that so it'll center. And I haven't done anything to the motor back there. I've done some cleaning on everything. But that is that. It's gonna look pretty cool when it's all done that'll be on there and that'll be on there a little bit better seated that's it